lovelies welcome back to another vlog i'm picking this one up on sunday august 6. i thought i would do another days in my life vlog because today i am on a mission to clean up at least one section of my bedroom and then tomorrow monday august 7th my husband and i are photographing a concert together which is pretty exciting Today we're doing some kind of like mini makeover in the bedroom. I'll show you on a minute, but I gotta do my skincare first. So the section of the bedroom that I really wanna work on, it's like this corner. It's a corner in the bedroom that's right up against the closet door, our walk-in closet. And it is technically my vanity area. So I have a vanity that I've had since I moved like out of my parents' house in 2015. Came from Ikea, it was really big in 2015. I think it's still a pretty nice piece. Like I don't wanna get rid of it. I just don't know what to do with it now because that's not where I've been doing my makeup in recent history. Like I don't think I've done my makeup there probably since April. So it's taken up space and it looks, it looks atrocious right now. You'll see in a minute. I'll be sure to do it before and after because I want this to be a true transformation. I also really need to do a makeup declutter. I have so much makeup that just sits around and I don't do anything with it. And again, I haven't done my makeup in this spot since like April. And there's so much makeup there that I haven't touched because I haven't done my makeup there since April. My hope is to declutter, organize, figure out a home for this vanity because I don't want it to continue to stay in here, I don't think. I wish I had the space in my home office, but unless I did a whole lot of maneuvering, I don't think it'll fit in there just because of how and like what I have in there right now. Cause like my plan for my home office was to be my streaming room and my YouTube recording room, but I've been doing a whole lot more vlogs, a whole lot more like laid back and less structured videos for YouTube recently that I haven't recorded a whole lot of sit down videos. And so I'm like, well, is there really a point in me taking the vanity in there and taking up space when there's already kind of limited even after organizing in there? I don't know, it may go to storage for a bit because again, it's a really nice piece and I don't want to get rid of it because it's still like in such good condition, but we just don't have the space for it currently in the house. And since I have big plans to get a huge floor length mirror to put where this vanity currently is, it needs to go for the moment. Might have to haul it to my storage locker. So that is the plan. There is another like component in that corner. It's this weird metal shelf that I got when I first moved into my apartment. And it served as a cute little piece in my bedroom for the longest time. Like I put perfume on it, but then it became a catch all for all sorts of crap. That I'm willing to like completely part with. I don't really want that anymore. That can go to like Goodwill, could go to the dump. I don't really care at this point. So those two things I really want to do something with today. I also need to declutter my closet, but that may not happen today because already just saying all of this out loud, I'm getting a little overwhelmed. Just saying it out into the existence, but I think it's something that I can handle. We're in a very comfy attire today. I don't know why I decided to wear a hoodie because it's hot. I don't think I told y'all, at least in the vlog, but recently, our dryer died. So we have been without a dryer now for going on two weeks, not being fun. Luckily, a lot of the stuff that I have and wash, I have a dryer rack and can just lay it across that. My husband, on the other hand, very much likes a dryer. So he has been having to go to the laundromat. I have not, I've been able to just put my things on the drying rack, but we're getting to a point now where bed sheets need to be washed. Yeah, I don't know how well they do on a drying rack, but we do have a new washer and dryer come. We did purchase a new set, thank God, because the set that I have, this is this is my set when Luke moved here. Yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. It's been mine for the past seven years, six years, however long. And it has been problematic from the get-go, especially the dryer. The dryer, like, I don't put things typically on high anyway when I dry, but if you put it on dry, it smells like something is on fire, which is a huge fear of mine. So I don't like that. And then the washer hasn't been really doing as well as it could. So we have a new set coming from Best Buy. We bought it through Best Buy, but it can't be delivered until the 25th of August. So we have 19 days <laughs> until we get our new washer and dryer. We could still wash, but the dryer's done so. So that just adds to everything at this point. Also, it's been how many days? Five days? 
Since I got my hand tattooed, we are definitely in the flaking phase. I'm gonna focus on that camera. There we go. We're definitely in the flaking stage of things. I'm trying not to over moisturize it because I know that can be problematic, but it's so dry. It's still hurting like sore over here. Even though this side was not the part that hurt the most during the tattoo, the part that hurt the most was up here on my knuckle. So this little leaf and then over here on the thumb side. This is still sore too, but not nearly as bad as here. But it's just very stiff right now because of all the flakiness and fuzz stuck to some of the flakes too. Lovely. That's an attractive look. Well, let me go show you what we're gonna be working with. I'm gonna go get some trash bags because I'm just gonna toss. We're just tossing. What was it Marie Kondo said? If it doesn't bring you joy, or if it doesn't spark joy, get rid of it. That entire corner does not spark joy. We gotta find something to do with it. Please do not judge this area right now. Also, hi Ivan. Please don't judge this area right now. I'm just being real with y'all. This is the current state of things. Like, of course, we have this chair that y'all have seen before that just constantly becomes the catch-all chair where I just toss my clothes and never put them away. But this is the current state that we're dealing with, but this is the vanity. Ignore the bra inserts. Whoops. This is currently what we're dealing with. And then this is the thing in the corner that I definitely want to get rid of, but then there's so much stuff here. Like, you look here, it's like, this is an old jewelry case thing. We've got some Mardi Gras beads when I went to New Orleans. Some perfume that I do use. Like I use those perfumes. It just became like a catch-all for things. So like there's an old makeup box down there. It's just like a bunch of stuff. It just needs to go. This is my hope is to clean this up. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. And I don't really know where to start first. I think I want to start here first because I know the majority of this is garbage. It's just tossing it. So I think that's where I'm gonna start. Here we are with this thing. This is an old thing that I used for contact. I don't know if I want to keep that now. Like it's, it's nice, but I have better things. So I'll see if my husband wants it. If not, I'll probably toss it. Yeah. For starters, we have old candle, old slippers. So that's the bottom shelf already taken care of. Then we have this. This is what I used to have all of my makeup in. Like when I lived at my parents' house, like all my makeup would be in here. It's so dusty right now. I don't think anything is in here. It's a random key. I don't know what that goes to. Oh, that probably goes to this. I'm pretty sure that key goes to this because you can lock it. Wait, let's check. I locked it. Now it's locked and won't come. Aha! That's exactly what that key is. So like this entire thing can toss because I don't use anything like that anymore. But I want to put the keys inside. <laughs> I got to unlock again and then put the keys back in the bag. I probably won't put that in a trash bag just because it's big and will take up a bunch of space. Does anyone remember? Like this was, this was a big thing back in the day. All right, so moving on. We have some like documents here. This right here was when, trigger warning, pet loss. This was when uh, my cat Simba, when he passed away and they did his little paw prints on a little clay thing. Um, and I still have the clay thing, but this like has all of his information and stuff. He was a good cat, but I guess I don't need the plastic that the thing came in anymore. Oh, shine down VIP thing. I tend to keep these a lot, just as little memory things. That is an old note from an old boss. Uh, what is this? That's kind of cool. This is from my commencement when I graduated with my second master's degree. That's kind of fun. Little commencement book, Master of Higher Education Administration. Oh, there I am. Master of Arts in Education. It's very broad. That's kind of cool. I I don't think I can get rid of that. That's kind of cool. And then this is the diploma ceremony. Just like the little walkthrough. That I can get rid of. But I'm gonna keep the little book. That's kind of cool. I forgot I had a trash bag for a minute. These things need to actually be tossed away and not just put on my bed. So now moving on to this shelf, which has a lot of stuff, which at first I was like, oh, well this is kind of a nice pedestal. No, no, trash. Put it in the trash. This is a nice jar. No, put it in the trash. Rain and stain resist the berry. I don't think there's anything in this. This little thing, you're supposed to put like jewelry on it. Trash. A lighter with no fluid in it. Trash. All of these gift cards to Starbucks. Well, that's an old Victoria's Secret credit card. Hmm, I should make sure. Oh, that's an old, these are some old credit cards. I should probably check on those. I'm pretty sure they're closed by now, but just double check. Try me. Oh, this still has ju- This still works. I guess I should keep that. More papers. That's an agenda from an old job. Old, old job related things. This is so sad. Wait a minute. Did I never 
give this to my dad? Oh my God, this is, okay, this is kind of sad. I'm getting dust everywhere right now. This is so sad, wait a minute. Okay, so my dad used to be a truck driver for a few years. It's like right after my parents' divorce, he became a truck driver. And I got him this like little keychain that says, drive safe, dad, I love you. And then had Gretchen engraved on it. It's got like a little, you know, the tractor trailer trucks, but like, why do I have it? I thought I gave it to him. That's really sad. He's no longer a truck driver, but you know what? I'm gonna still give it to him. All right, this is fun. Oh my God, the dust. I need a Swiffer or something. I don't know where the actual like Swiffer stick thing is, but I found a, an old Swiffer. So these are kind of fun. These are from my best friend's like bachelorette weekend. Even though it was like, I think it was two days before the wedding. I was the maid of honor. So I planned a little like wine out in for us because we were in what's considered like wine country in Virginia. And so I had ordered everyone that was in the bridal party these sunglasses off of Etsy and it says wine crew on it and then our names. And so the colors were purple and green. And so all of us like bridesmaids or like partners to the groomsmen were all invited. So everyone got purple glasses except for my best friend, the bride, who got a white pair. All the quality on these are shit, but oh my God, I can't. Can't get rid of these either. These were cool. Here are some old name tags from the jobs that I had because it was in higher ed. So you'd have name tags and stuff for like important days where parents would come or prospective students or stuff like that. But it's like, do I keep these? Do I toss them? Like, what do I do with them? Because they're really nice. But at the same time, it's just like, this is from, this isn't even from the last position I held at this place. So I had two positions. Well, technically three. The last place I worked at college. This is from my time working in the advancement office. So like working with donor relations and stuff like that. I guess I should just toss it, right? There's no point in keeping stuff like this, right? There's two of them. I, and it's the same thing because they thought that they had lost my first one that they ordered and then they both showed up at the same time. So I had two different ones, even though they say the same thing. There's no point in me keeping that, right? I just, to I toss it, I, I toss it, right? There's no point in keeping it. I toss it. All right, so moving on, we have this old wallet from Spartina. Who remembers when Spartina was big? That's got an old ID of mine in there. What's not? That's got my, so <gasps> this wallet has my social security card in. I have been looking for that thing for years. I thought I just lost it. Oh look, more Starbucks gift card. I don't know if there's anything on it. But does, does anyone remember when Spartina was big? Definitely not my vibe anymore. Anything else in here that I should know about? No, that's it. Oh, what's back here? Receipts. Oh, where is this receipt to? Like it's a nice wallet still. Kinda, well, no, it's rusted. But like, you know, you clean it up and it's nice, but it does have a little bit of like rust. I don't know what to do with the wallet. Cause like it still is in good condition other than this one little piece that's got rust on it. Like see, you can see it's got a little bit of rust here. I don't want to focus, but like right there, a little bit of rust. I'll get my husband's opinions. Um, and then moving on, we have this little dish of wonder. This I think has perfume in it. That doesn't spray very well, so that's gonna go. I'm pretty sure my mom got me this dish. So my mom gave me something. I have a hard time getting rid of it. So I'll probably hold on to this because it's cute. Then we have a bunch of jewelry here. And I know some of these things are really good. Like that's a David Yerman bracelet. Obviously not my style anymore, but my mom would probably like it and could clean it up. Like that's a David Yerman bracelet and it looks kind of gross right now, but I think it's expensive. But then we have like these little bracelets, which are cute, but like, I'm pretty sure that one came from Altered State. So it's not really like good quality. This also came from Altered State, but it is kind of cute. I forgot about this. This little necklace, that's kind of cute. I'm gonna hold on to that. We do have some rings here. This one I got when my mom and I, for my second master's degree graduation, we went to New Orleans. It was just she and I. And I got this at one of the little markets there, but the middle always split. Like, it's so pretty. Memories on that one. Little Fleur de Lis ring. I'll probably hold on to these rings. Oh, there's my college ring, like my undergrad. Probably hold on to these. Not that one, that one's trash. And then this one, this one was my mom's when she was a teenager. It's like a little garnet. Oh, I forgot how much I like that ring. Or it's too big for my pinky. Would it work on my ring finger? No, it's too tight for that one. So it like doesn't fit any of my fingers. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find a home for all that. This can go though. I'm pretty sure this came from like Target. It's a little arrow ring. Like Mardi Gras beads. I can probably find a box for them. But look at all of them. Aren't they so fun? I could probably actually like hang them up in my stream room somewhere because they're so fun. That one, got an LSU one, little oyster run. I don't even like oyster, well I like fried oysters, but Saints one. These obviously I'm keeping. I just need to find a spot for them. Then we move 
here, this little section. It looks like it's all thrown together, but I actually still use these perfumes and I use these chokers. I have one on right now. So it's just a matter of cleaning this up, figuring out what to do with it. And then we have up here, oh, oh my God. This little jar right here, this vlog is just gonna be me going down memory lane. It's gonna be so long. This little jar right here, my mom made it for me. It's this little purple jar. Got a lot of dust on it with a little flower on top and it says violet around here so violet for those that don't know i had a hedgehog for many years she unfortunately did pass but in here it's gonna be kind of hard to see but these are her quills these are the like a few of the quills that i was able to pick up from her like sleeping area i was able to pick it out of her fleece that i had for her bed these are her little quills ain't no way in hell i'm getting rid of that i don't know what i'm gonna do with it got more jewelry here this is actually a little jewelry dish that my that my mother-in-law got me for christmas last year with my name on it says a little heart so cute little jewelry dish that i need to find a better home for these perfumes are special this one right here is aromatics elixir from clinique this to me first of all it reminds me of my mom she used to wear this all the time now she still does but it reminds me so much of fall just smelling this automatically puts me in, hold on it smells so good this is probably my favorite perfume ever and it's very strong it is very strong and it probably smells a little mature some people are like that smells like an old lady perfume i don't care it makes me so happy immediate mood boost like you want happiness in a bottle this for me and then we have this one is the perfume that i wore on my wedding day it is i want you from jimmy choo so i only wear this on special occasions like date night or anniversary stuff or any kind of special thing so that's why it stays in a box but yeah very special perfume all right we're getting there this is a jewelry box Got some jewelry on top, but it's got a lot of jewelry in each drawer. These are ones that, like, I used this box up until recently, so I definitely need to go through this, figure out what to do with it. So now, all that's left is this thing. There's, like, this cloth that my mom had put this together, but she told me, she's like, get rid of it, Gretchen. Don't hold on to it. Put it away or toss it or something. I'm like, yes, ma'am. I'm following what my mama said, even though she gave it to me. I think she even put these little things there, but basically... I want this gone. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, but then I'm gonna move it out. You know, I'm realizing something. I have already recorded about 20 minutes worth of unedited footage. This is gonna be either a really long vlog or it's gonna have to be separated and be its own vlog, which I can totally do. I can make this a day in my life vlog or a decluttering vlog or something like that but i think i'm gonna have to change direction on this vlog because otherwise it's gonna be like an hour long vlog and i don't think my internet could handle uploading an hour long vlog got most of the dust off there it is in its entirety move this out into the hallway also i have a lot of blankets move that my pikachu onesie other blanket oh my god i got so much how do y'all live minimally help i am not a minimalistic girly i am a pack rat i need some help hey y'all see my closet help what else we got oh here's a bag of stuff Oh, I think this came from, this come from the wedding? Oh, what is this? These are things that my mom got me the day of my wedding and I forgot about them. This thermos says breakfast wine. That's all. Very simple font. Nothing special. You know, breakfast wine sounds pretty good. That's called a mimosa. Now I'm realizing this vlog's gonna have to be its own thing. What else we got? Yep, I remember her giving me this the day of my wedding. Put a spell on you. That's cute. I have no idea what that has to do with my wedding. Did this come from the wedding? I'm pretty sure it did. I don't think this was my birthday. You got this coffee my mom loves cocktail napkins i always feel bad when i waste them these are cute bags that can be reused for some event a birthday or something any other millennials do that you're like oh this is a nice gift bag and then you continue to reuse it same for boxes in my laptop bag i don't know why that's in there but the corner is now clean except for i need please look at the discoloration. I got a vacuum. Cleaned up the floor a little bit. It looks a little bit better now. It's not quite as two-toned. It's still, you know. How do y'all clean your carpet? Like actual carpet cleaner? I don't have that. But now I wanna test something. I have a floor length mirror now. There's another one in my mind that I really want, but I just wanna see how this mirror would look. Like how a floor length mirror would look. Not me forgetting how heavy this mirror is. Oh. It actually looks kind of nice there. Do I need another mirror? Yeah. Now I feel like I could actually get fire selfies. 
because everyone's always got those cute mirror selfies and I feel like with the windows over there I could actually get I could actually get cute ones now I gotta like it there <laughs> this mirror needs to be cleaned up though it's kind of gross all right I've cleaned it up some I think it looks good now onto the vanity back from a little bit of a break got some lunch cleaned up a little bit uh the bed still looks like a disaster zone with all the stuff that i pulled off but we're gonna work on the vanity now because i need to so this is gonna be the next thing we tackle a lot of this is gonna end up getting thrown away if i'm being honest a lot of this is gonna end up getting thrown away also i love how i lint rolled myself before i started and it looks like i've never cleaned this hoodie in my life but yeah so now i'm gonna work on the vanity a lot of it's gonna be tossed a lot of it is old makeup i'll try to go through every single piece but we'll see. So along with just so much stuff on this desk, there's also a drawer of stuff that needs to go. We're gonna do the part first, I think, where I'm just gonna toss anything that I'm not gonna use, which is the majority of the makeup here. Now there are some little things here that obviously aren't makeup, like a little makeup pouch, a cat brush. <laughs> Why is that there? Some makeup brushes. The majority of those probably gonna get tossed though. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna go through the makeup first, toss those things, pull things off this area, go from there. Cause then we have the, the fun task of cleaning up down there. I'm still loving how this looks though. Like this looks pretty nice over there in the corner. I'm happy about that. Got my trash bag here still. First thing that's gonna get tossed right over here. These are old J Star little mini lipsticks. My now husband had gotten these for me way back when. They're dried up at this point anyway, but they gotta go. That's one pretty big section already. This is a case for a mirror that I actually still use, so I need to pull that out. These are makeup brushes that my husband got me, keeping them. Old lipsticks that never were opened from my J Star. We do have some headbands in here, which I use when I'm putting on my makeup. These need to be washed though. They are like grungy and they've got makeup caked all over them. This is a cute headband too. It's not very good for makeup because it's kind of flimsy, but it's still cute. Old gloves. Why are they in here? Oh, I think I used to have gloves in here when I would change Pearson's. An old cosmetics bag. This is specific brand target. You know, I could donate this probably. It's still good condition. I think someone could probably use it. More old gloves, some hair clips, hair ties. These little things, they're like uh, lip brushes. So if you have like liquid lipstick, but the brush breaks off or something, you can buy these on Amazon, it's kind of nice. Or if you're like a makeup artist, they're a little disposable things so that the actual brush doesn't touch like a client's lips. Or something more highlighters these are old smashbox eyeshadow palettes but they are so old probably shouldn't keep them more headbands they went through like a headband phase bobby pins that are not my color they're brown but they're still useful now this is a j star mirror again no longer purchased from the company but this mirror is nice once i clean it up so i am probably still gonna hold on to it might as well best eyelash glue ever and i have one of those. That is everything in here. Let me vacuum it. All right, next up is everything here. So obviously this I'm gonna keep is quite a few eyelashes just here. I guess my hope was that I would eventually find their homes. I haven't. So fortunately these eyelashes are gonna need to be tossed. Trash, trash, trash. I'm trying not to think. Just kvd i never liked this it was contour fair cool i never liked this kvd product never it dried so fast like before the second you would put it on your skin before you could even get like a brush or a sponge to it dried it was awful the amount of body jewelry sitting here is wild these are all empty setting sprays why did i leave them on my desk if they're empty Ew. is this excedrin so good yeah it's so Good. I can't take Excedrin anymore because of Adderall. Oh, speaking of that, I'm supposed to be taking that now. Oops. My Adderall just got stuck on my tongue. ADHD who? Back over here. This is a makeup kit. Why do I have so much gauze? This is a makeup case that I think my mom gave me, so obviously I have to keep it. That trash, trash. Unfortunately, trash. I had just bought this candle and immediately dropped on the floor. Shattered. So much trash. So little time. Oh, these are pumpkin earrings, but one is missing earring. Oh, I think I just saw it. There it is. I'll fix that later. So now these brushes. I haven't used them in forever. Look how dusty they are. I also don't use this like case anymore. So you know what? Not even gonna think about it. They're just gone. There they go. 
trash. I don't use that anymore. Just found a Target gift card that I actually think is still has things on it because it hasn't been scratched off yet. But I also just found the room key from the place where my husband and I stayed the night of our wedding. I feel like I can't get rid of that for whatever reason. Even though you're supposed to turn those things in, I just feel like I can't get rid of it. That's my sorority badge. Uh, I don't know what this is. So much trash. 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 Make it progress. Oh, this thing is fun. So this was in a drink that I got at Disney last November when we went for our honeymoon. Lashes that I haven't opened, so that's not trash. I'm just putting all the things down here that currently are not trash. Is this trash? I'll be pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it's empty. This Tokyo milk in tainted love oh my god that perfume smells so good oh yeah this cord goes to a mirror that i broke while streaming one time these little things yeah look at all this oh so look at all this change where's all this change coming from that's arnica that's expired my old music photography business cards toss those old jewelry boxes just tossing just tossing at this point Is nail polish even good still it looks like it's chalky i don't think i even opened this nail polish ever i think i could probably save it. It's a pretty color. Look at all this change I got. Hell yeah. This pen doesn't write. I don't know why I still have it. We're gonna be working on this section now. This pretty much is all gonna go. I don't remember the last time I used any of this, so we're just gonna pull it, toss it, all the good stuff. I'm gonna use this Ulta bag to put this stuff in. These things from Stila or Stila or whatever the hell the brand is, these things were really nice. I don't know if they still make them anymore. What were they? Kitten Karma, Diamond Dust, and Starlight. They're just like little eyeshadow things for glitter. It was really nice. All right, and then over here, we just have some old brushes, old lip liner. These scissors are, I don't know what these scissors are supposed to cut, but they don't cut a lot. Little facial blades, but I'm pretty sure they are old. Same with this one. That one was like metal. Lip liners, which I don't really use lip liner. I just don't like how lip liners feel. Oh, I've been wondering where this brush is. Okay, so I'm keeping this one. This is an angled one. I've been wondering where that one was. Oh, some tweezers. Man, all right, I've hit the jackpot right now. All right, getting rid of these two. This one makes me sad, but it has to go. You see the red on it? That was back when I used to do my eyebrows red to match my hair. Gotta go though. All right, that's the top part. Magic trick, this comes off. All right. Moving on to this section. This is actually not opened. Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Obviously keeping that. Trash, 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 trash. Nothing like a good old makeup declutter. All right, this is the big one. Look at these lip products. All right, so some of these I actually still do use, like the Tarte ones and the Too Faced ones I still use. I don't know why I got this one. This is ColourPop from their Hocus Pocus line, and it's in... Tonight we fly. It is this, like, it's pretty, but I don't wear that kind of stuff. I think I just got it because it was Hocus Pocus. I'm gonna get rid of them. I love NYX, but these, like, suede ones were not it for me. I have one Kylie lipstick. Not good. But yeah, like, these from Tarte are really nice. I have several of them. I also do have some KVD ones, but they're older. So they're probably not good anymore. And then we have some of these from Too Faced Melted Matte. Now this one is a melted metallic in the shade I wanna rock with you. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna toss that one. That one wasn't too painful to go through, honestly. We have this Tardiest Pro To Go palette. I mean, it's fine, but I'm get rid of that. More liquid lipsticks. These are from, what we have here? We have some CoverGirl and KVD and like a mini tart one. Toss that. Oh, now these I may keep. These are loose glitters from NYX. They're actually pretty fun to put on your eyes, so I think I might keep them. And then some ColourPop that I forgot about. I don't know how old they are, though, is the problem. I'll hold on to them for now, because I'm not entirely sure. All right, and on this side, we do have some perfumes, but they're kind of older, so trash. Ooh, now these, actually, that one I'll toss, but these actually... Still have quite a bit and they are relatively newer so i'll hold on to them i love this one my mom always says i smell like an old lady when i wear it it's chloe she absolutely hated it and said i always smelled like an old lady i think it smells good and then finally we have what are these they're kind of like the stila ones where it's glitter metallic eyeshadow but the problem is like look how separated i don't know how easy it is to see because it's in plastic but they're so separated but then we have, what are these? Are these just like little individual ones? Oh, I think they are. Oh, that's a black one. I'm gonna get rid of this one. 
But this black one has never been opened. And that's good for like lower lash line if you want it to last. There's that. More makeup to toss. And uh, honestly, I think I did pretty good. Now to try and clean this up somehow. Little update, one, I certainly hope this video is turning out because I realized I've been doing manual this whole time and that's not something that I usually do with this camera, so fingers crossed. Second, I'm looking rough right now, but. So I did some things off camera just because there was a lot and I was starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed, but I think we're getting to a good place, so. I realized that I just don't have any place to put this vanity right now. I'm not even sure it would fit in my storage unit right now. However, I've decided to repurpose it into my jewelry stand, which I didn't have before. Oh, beat me back there. So now all of my jewelry is at like where the makeup used to be on this vanity. So I think that's kind of a nice little change. I'm also removing the chair so that opens up a good amount of space. I have shoved some things in here for the time being, just cause I don't really know where they should go. Like, I mean, some of these things are like my body jewelry for like septums and stuff like that. So I have made those little changes. It's a little close up of everything, all my jewelry, the stuff that I didn't toss. I think it's looking pretty good. This is kind of a catch all at the moment. I'm not sure where to put certain things. So it's just holding things for the minute. This was a really cute thing that my sister-in-law got Luke and I for Christmas and I was like oh that'll be really cute there so this is the state of this at the moment and then come over here I actually changed some things up on this little space which is not a space that I was going to touch today but decided to so I put perfume over there I do have my rings over here so not all of my jewelry is over there some is here and then I have my crystal collection up here it's a little more uniform than I would want but that's where it is for the moment so yeah changed a few things up and honestly I'm pretty pleased with this progress like it's ignore the stuff that's still on the floor obviously but it's looking better over here compared to how it was so i'm pretty happy to add to my day of decluttering organizing rearranging i actually tackled this area which is kind of been the bane of my existence for a while i didn't do a before shot of it mostly because it's embarrassing as heck but there was so much crap up there and i decided to take xfinity box down because we actually got rid of cable recently and so there's no point in the box being there we gotta send it back anyway and so now there's actually room up there and i've just ordered a mount to put the tv on the wall so i can actually have room up there to put things so that was another thing i tackled today so i did that and then pans over here did that did that there's still like things that i've thrown under there but it's better than it was like there's a lot of room here now that didn't used to be so yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with how today has turned out. After looking over the footage that I recorded earlier, I think that this is just going to be its own vlog. So a uh, decluttering, organizing, rearranging day in my life vlog. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Little mini makeover in my bedroom. So it's like, it's 90% there. There's still a few things that I need to like work with and potentially just change slightly. But for now, I'm happy with what I was able to accomplish. I gotta be honest, pretty proud of myself. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go down there, hit that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I upload next. But until next time, bye everyone. Mm -hmm.